it going? It's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. I hope you're all doing well today. So in this pick a card reading, we're going to be looking at your person's feelings for you and their thoughts, what's going on with them currently. And just remember that this is a timeless reading, so whenever you're drawn to this video is when it's meant for you. Okay, so let's get into the past selection. So we have group one with the jade point, group two with the tiger's eye, and then we have clear quartz for group three. So feel free to pause the video here whilst you make your choice. Take as long as you need. And once you've made your choice, you can go to the description box below where you'll find the corresponding timestamps to your chosen pile. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, so let's get into your reading. Click the timestamp and I'll see you there. Okay, group number one. So for those of you who are drawn to group one's pile, maybe you were drawn to the green jade quartz. Drink green jade quartz, wow, I just totally made that up. <laughs> That's so weird. The green jade point is what I was meaning to say. Green jade point, maybe the number one, or maybe you just felt really called to this pile. So let's take a look at your person's thoughts and feelings about you. So we've got your oracle cards here, and then we'll look at some tarot messages and official messages as well. So I want to start with, okay, serendipity. We have serendipity in the number 18. We have mending in the number 52. And then we have Bridget, the goddess of, etern of the eternal flame. I am an eternal flame and each day my light grows brighter. Wow. Okay. I mean, this is a beautiful reading already, group one. Okay. So I really feel like your person feels that their love for you is eternal. Okay. Or that it's everlasting. So this is a very deep bond that I feel you share with this person. Wow. But I feel like there was something that was broken here. So I do feel like maybe there's been a breakup or a separation, or that your situationship perhaps was put on pause. But we have mending. So I feel like your person is wanting to mend something. Now, even if you're not necessarily split or on a break, it may be that they want to apologize for something. Okay, if they've done something wrong, if they've hurt you, please bear with me. <laughs> That's my bunny chewing the box. Again, my regulars do know that this happens when I start reading. Hold on one second. Um, I've stopped him for the moment, but I can't guarantee he will. <laughs> he won't last long. I really hope it's not too loud and distracting. I'll talk louder <laughs> over over him. Um, so yeah, I feel like definitely your person is wanting to redo something here. Okay, so maybe it's like start again. So maybe this could even be if this was like a first date. Okay, it doesn't mean you have to have a lot of history together. But it could just mean that some, there was like a false start or something didn't get off the ground or that maybe they made a first bad impression or a bad first impression or something. But at the same time, we've got this, this eternity feeling that's coming through. Wow. And there's something to do with manifestation coming through here, I feel. I don't know if your person is trying to manifest you or they've got these intense manifesting abilities. Maybe they're even not aware of this, but I feel like, I don't know, it's like they're thinking you into existence and it's like they want to bring you in in some way because we also have serendipity. So it's giving me this magical feeling. Yeah, that your person is wanting to create some magic between the two of you or it's feeling like there's something about running into you, maybe unexpectedly. Hmm, maybe this is the last time you bumped into each other, but obviously serendipity is like karmically bringing people together. It's something that happens that is unexpected, but it's a pleasant, unexpected surprise. I don't know if anybody's seen sliding doors, but I feel like that really represents serendipity uh, so perfectly, even though it's a bit of an old cheesy film. I actually didn't see it until not that long ago, within the last couple of years, but it's quite an old, I think it's a 90s film with Gwyneth Paltrow but absolutely brilliant in terms of the serendipity side of things. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, definitely give it a watch. So yeah, maybe, maybe your person has already just watched that, okay? Or they're noticing some kind of alignment or syncing up between the two of you. So maybe this is like a person that you have run into multiple times. And because I did have this with one person, like this long ago kind of, I don't want to go into the details of it, but it's kind of an ex, I suppose. But 
I kept running into them at supermarkets and it happened like three weeks in a row at different supermarkets and it was really, really strange. But there was no, I could think of no reason why. But yeah, it, it was an odd one. <laughs> but we actually did have this conversation. We bumped into each other again the next year and we had a closing kind of conversation about it. So I feel like the details <laughs> made sense. But it was just like, why do you keep trying to bring us together? And it's not always necessarily about romance. But I definitely feel like there is something in terms of loving feelings coming through from this person, okay? Because there's, you know, the eternal flame, there's passion here. And there's something also about them starting to either think about you more, they're starting to open up their feelings to you more, okay? They're starting to feel more. I'm an eternal flame and each day my light grows brighter. So it's, yeah, it's almost like the, their admiration for you is, is growing by the day, wow. So even if you're in no contact with this person, like you seem to be getting better and better in their eyes, okay? So let's see what else is coming through here. Let's separate their thoughts from their feelings now. So let's look at their feelings. What are their current feelings for you? What is this person's current feelings for you, my group ones? What is this person's current feelings for you? Okay, so we have the four of coins. The King of Cups. Whoa! The Two of Cups. Okay. Right, now let's just look at their thoughts. Okay. What are their thoughts about you right now, group one? What are their thoughts? What are their current thoughts about you? Okay, Five of Wands. Knight of Coins. What are their thoughts about you? Wow, okay, five of swords. We've got two fives here, two fives. So there's been a change, okay, in their mind. They've changed their mind about you in some way, okay, or they're starting to change their mind about you. Fives represent that change and liberation. We've got the unity of number two here as well. Hmm. So let's look at their feelings first here. So in terms of their actual feelings, it's a little odd because we've got the King of Cups reversed, but then we've got the Two of Cups, okay, which is divine union, which is mutual feelings, you know, reciprocity, you feeling the same way as, as them, okay, and them, them reciprocating those feelings. Maybe not openly, and maybe that's what it is. It's like they have those feelings, but they're not expressing it. With this King of Cups reversed, it's like it's a no, because here as well with the Four of Coins, this is a holding back, okay, or holding on to something. Now, this might be holding on to their emotional stability or their overall well-being, okay? It may be that they're feeling closed off in a way, but I mean, I'll come to their thoughts because I do feel like there's something else coming through here, but I do feel like something to do with their emotions for you makes them feel uncomfortable, okay? Makes them kind of go into their shell, makes them wanna hide. It may even be them putting up this protective barrier, like they're not able to let you come through yeah, and this is this is protection. This is divine protection. And when anybody has this fear of commitment, it's it stems from a place of, of fear, fear of them being hurt, or even fear of them being the one that hurts someone. And I feel like maybe this is something that they're used to. They're used to not really dealing with their feelings or even feeling certain things. It might be they've been closed off to love for a while. But with you, I mean, <sighs> It doesn't really get much better in terms of feelings, I feel, when it comes to the Two of Cups with this question, because this is like that you're both feeling the same way, like you're both, your hearts are both aligned with one another and they do feel that, they do feel that. But again, it might be that they feel a little bit uncomfortable because then when we come up into their mind, they're fighting something here, okay? I feel like they're fighting the urge to come towards you. There is temptation, like you're tempting them. And, you know, whether you're doing this consciously or unconsciously, they are feeling tempted by you. Like they want to approach you here. Okay, there's a lot of a lot coming through about action here with their mind. So this is where I feel like they're kind of going around in circles. Their mind is darting all over the place. And it's almost like they have the angel and the devil on their shoulder. One is telling them to reach out to you. One is telling them to fight for you. One is telling them, no, you know, hold back. Because... There's also something about winning here. So maybe this person is quite competitive. That may also be a way in which they 
try to suppress their feelings because to, to them it may feel like they're losing if they end up falling in love I don't know I know that's a weird one but it might be they feel like they need to always be the one on top or always the one in control or always the one that feels that they're in power in some way but also this is like there's definitely a lot of changeability in their mind and their thoughts so I don't feel like they're someone that's very stuck or rigid when it comes to their thinking and maybe this is more about when it comes to their thinking about you but they very well could have a their mercury in a mutable sign like Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius what's the other one? I always forget one <laughs> uh gemini gemini see i need to reframe that because i'm just manifesting that i always remember all, <laughs> all of the mutable signs um all of the signs like that it's like i know them all but so when i then recite them anyway moving on i'm not going to make that any more potent so because remember our words are like spells okay the things that we say we have to be very careful of because we can almost curse ourselves or we can bless ourselves so really important to try to reframe the things that we say internally and externally but that might also have something to do with what's going on in your person's mind okay so it might even be a bit of self-sabotage okay they might be used to sabotaging certain connections or their mind is trying to sabotage it yeah but it may also be that there's some other interference as well because there's a lot of people coming through in these cards so i don't know if they're already connected with someone else okay or if there is I don't know, there's some kind of barrier in terms of people. Like maybe they have some overprotective friends and family, or maybe you do, or you know, there's some kind of disruption there. It could also be a work connection because we do have the Knight of Coins here, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So for some of you, it might be a work connection and that could also be where the block lies, where they don't feel like it would be professional perhaps to reach out, I don't know. But they're definitely a little confused, but I do feel like they are very much fighting the urge to connect with you on a deeper level. But I do also feel because the Nine of Coins is here that they're thinking about taking things very slowly. And it's like there's so much chaos and disruption on either side, but right here in the center, it's like, okay, just be grounded, make practical effort, don't rush things. So I feel like that's where they're at in terms of, you know, their thoughts, like they're wanting, they are wanting to come towards you, but they're trying to fight the urge of maybe acting too impulsively or, or listening to other people people's opinions or their own doubts okay they definitely have some doubts and fears about this but at the same time it may be it's this fear of commitment this fear of falling in love so hard okay wow so let's take a look at some fishbowl messages now for their feelings for you current feelings and thoughts about you we have blunt october use your voice splenic authority fire brigade missing you money is coming expansion and scandal august okay so we have two potential time scales here for something something major to happen here between the two of you. We've got August and we've got October. So neither of those are actually quite far away. I mean, I know this is a timeless reading, but they're both quite uh, close together as well. Okay, it's only September that separates them. So yeah, maybe that there's gonna be something more that occurs between you, between um, August and October. Then if you just heard my stomach just absolutely grumble then. <laughs> That's weird. It doesn't usually start this early in the day. Okay, so money is coming. Now, this could be, this could be again that money connection that you share a money connection that your person is going to give you some money, you're going to give, you know, you're going to buy something from them, they're going to buy something from you or that yeah, you somehow there's a, there's a financial connection. If there's no financial connection, this could be a little bit of a bonus message for you group 1. Okay, this could be like a side note for you that money is coming. Okay, so affirm that anyway, because it's always nice to have a bit of extra cash um, infusions, isn't it? So yeah, that might be a little bit of a bonus. Like I said, if you don't resonate it with your person, then yeah, take that, claim that as yours. Okay. Fire Brigade, I feel like this is definitely, again, about their passions. This makes a lot of sense. This makes me feel like it's the tower, it's Aries energy. So yeah, I do feel like there is this impulse for them to want to approach you, to want to connect with you. And I actually feel like it's coming very much from um, this splenic authority here, which is, 
you know, they might be somebody that's very naturally intuitive, but in a physical way, or like in the sense of, you know, the spleen is like the place of like fight or flight. It's the instinctual gut place of the gut feeling. Okay, so it might be that they just have this gut feeling that they need to come towards you, which makes sense because it seems like they're not overly invested or engaged with their emotions. It feels like they're quite shut off to them, but they do feel something and maybe that's is something that they don't quite understand, okay? Because it's coming from this splenic place where they're just like, I just know I wanna to come towards you. Even if it's like the feeling of, I don't know, like animals will do it, will do it if they're in danger. Like they won't, you know, they don't cognitively think out these thoughts. Oh, I need to run away because I sense there is danger coming. Okay, it will just be the instinct. They'll just suddenly move in a different direction because they'll sense it, but it's not like, a thought that is contextualized, if that makes sense. So this is what I feel like is going on with them. They just feel this pull. So maybe even if this is someone that you do work with or someone you see on a regular basis, or again, bump into it, and that makes sense as well. Like you're drawn to each other like magnets, like you're, you bump into each other. You happen to be in the right place at the right time together. Because, and this, so you may also have some splenic authority there or this um, intuition which drives you towards them. But yeah, if you're in the kind of same place, you do see them regularly, then it might be you just naturally feel like you gravitate towards each other, okay? But this is certainly how you, this person is feeling about you. And you know, we've got missing you as well. So they're missing you. So may I, there's definitely some kind of separation or a breakup or you know, a pause on this relationship, or perhaps it, even if this is, again, if you do work together, that this is like you're taking time off or they are, but okay, it definitely feels like there's some kind of distance between the two of you, um, and they're missing you, which is really sweet, isn't it? And then scandal, scandal. I don't know what scandal means, but that makes a little sense here with their thoughts as well, that maybe they think by coming towards you, it would create a scandal, yeah. I mean, that very well could be the truth if they are involved with other people, or again, if this is a work scenario, I don't know. But there's something about them, maybe this is them overthinking, worrying about how things may turn out. So it's it's like their mind is confused and maybe trying to talk themselves out of it. Um, but their, you know, their spleen, their intuition, their drive is, is pushing them towards you. So yeah, there is definitely some confliction and that makes sense. Because I almost see them, like, this is the vision I see right now, like them being in the center of this group of people like a group of like other humans that are pushing them like from the center, like, and they're, they're like bouncing all around the center. So yeah, it's like they're in the middle here and then they've got all the people here and then they're just being like thrown around this circle. That's what I see their mind doing right now. So it's a, it's a lot, it's pretty intense. Okay, we also have blunt. Okay, so I don't know whether they see you as somebody that's very blunt and to the point or whether they may be, okay. Um, but it may also be how they come across to you. That may be the only way they feel that they can deal with this connection, or you know, especially if they have a crush on you. And if this isn't something that they voiced to you yet, you know, we've got use your voice. So again, it might be that they feel like they need to voice something, and maybe they will be very, very blunt with you when they say something to you. Okay. But it may be that. Hold on. What was I going to say about blunt? Um, oh yes, about having a crush and. It's like, it's really hard to act normally around somebody that you have a crush on. As much as you think you might be acting normally, um, a lot of the time what happens is overcompensation. So it's like, oh, I don't want them to think I have a crush on them, so I'm gonna act mean. <laughs> or I'm just gonna act completely disinterested because I don't want them to know how I feel. But it can then come across, you know, in a totally different way. So that may be what's happening there. So it might be that you have no idea if this person actually feels this way, if this is someone you have a crush on, perhaps. But then we also have expansion here, expansion. And I do feel like this is about this draw with, this, with the spleen again, okay? In human design, they might have a defined spleen, or you might have a defined spleen. Um, or, or again, splenic authority, be a splenic projector or something. But I definitely feel like there is this uh, magnetic pull to one another. Like you are being drawn to them and this person knows it, they feel it. They just may not, you know, well, I feel like their mind is actually now recognizing it. Recognizing it. That's the thing. I feel like they were feeling it before, but now their mind is actually starting to experiment with the idea of it. Okay, so this might be why they're jumping from place to place, worries, doubts, but, you know, feeling that calling towards you. So 
there we go. <laughs> I really hope that this resonated with you, group one. Please feel free to let me know in the comments below if it did. And give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today, because all of your support really does mean the world to me. And, you know, I appreciate each and every one of you for being here and, you know, for watching the video um, in its entirety or watching your, your whole reading, of course. And just know how much I love you all so much. And, of course, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link is down below. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, group one. Take good care. Okay, group number two. Let's take a look at your person's thoughts and feelings about you. Okay, so you were drawn to the number two, perhaps, the tiger's eye. So we'll start with, okay, we've got TikTok and the number 30. To be fair, 38. And Queen Esther, the morning star, my ego is in service of my soul and I trust my soul's divine timing. Okay, so the first things that are coming through here is timing. Okay, we've got two cards about timing. Okay, we've got a lot coming through about patience here and then divine timing. Obviously, TikTok could be more literal, okay, for some of you, if you're on TikTok, if you follow theirs or they follow yours, okay, that could be a way in which they're thinking about you. If you're someone maybe that posts regularly on TikTok, that could be what's coming through there. But for others of you, this is definitely more so about the timing here, that this is something that is, that is weighing heavily on them, I feel, actually. Like, I don't know if they overthink, they may overthink about things, may overthink about the when they should, I don't know, when they should do something. Hmm, we'll see what else comes through about that. I feel like more is going to come to light when it comes to the timing here. But I'm also seeing the number three here. So that may also have something to do with the timing. That they want to reach out, perhaps, by the number three. But here we've got this ego energy coming through. So I don't know if this person, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of arrogance. I don't know why. Maybe because of the ego thing. Could be. Hmm. And I just feel like they're not giving a lot away. So there's definitely some mystery coming through about this person. So they may have some strong... I was going to say Scorpio, but Pisces wanting, was wanting to come out. So again, maybe it's Pisces or Scorpio, perhaps Virgo. Hmm. We do have Libra here as well, though, which is about balance, okay? So, yeah, to be fair, so they want something about your connection to feel more fair. So they're either recognizing that they're not giving enough to this or that they feel like you're not giving enough or maybe that things are pretty balanced, okay? But there's definitely something about equality here that's on their mind. Um, I'm definitely going to get have to get some more tarot here because... I just feel like this person is a bit of a closed book, okay? Or maybe they have a poker face. There's somebody that just, yeah, they're not giving too much away, but it may be as well that they come across as quite passive. And there's someone that comes across as, you know, needing to um, always be compromising or acting as if they're unfazed as well by things. I don't know. So maybe that's as well how they're acting towards you, like they're acting unfazed by this connection. Doesn't mean that that's how they're feeling necessarily, but... It could be for some of you, because you know I'm going to be open and honest with what I see what, and what I feel, because that's going to serve your highest good, ultimately. But so, yeah, for some of you that might be, for some of you it's more of a front, but we'll get more information with tarot. But I'm also seeing something actually with them, I feel like they may have written something to you already, like they've typed out a text or something, or written out an email, but then they deleted it. I just, I don't know, I keep seeing their hands typing, 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 typing. Um, well, maybe you are in communication with them and maybe they're an avid communicator, okay, especially with that Libra air energy, okay, so, but let's have a look and we're going to separate their thoughts and feelings as well, so let's look at their feelings first, like what are their actual feelings for you currently, group two, and just remember as well that because, you know, I mean it's a timeless reading of course, but also the fact that feelings and thoughts change, they're always in a state of change and flux, so even if, you know, this is how they're thinking and feeling right now, it doesn't mean that's how they're going to be thinking and feeling tomorrow, the next day, next week, even in an hour from now, anything could be triggered, anything can happen, but we're just looking for that, those honest answers about their current state of emotions and thoughts, so what are their current feelings for you, my beautiful group number twos, I love my twos, I do, Okay, so we've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay, how are they feeling about you, group two? Okay, Six of Wands and the Judgment card. Okay, now let's just take a look at their thoughts. What are they thinking about you, group 
I know you said three then. Group two. Group two. What are they thinking about you? Okay. Knight of coins reverse. What are they thinking about you? Nine of wands. Okay. What are they thinking about you? Death reversed. Okay. So yeah, we have that Scorpio energy coming through again here. Right, let's look at their feelings first. So, how they're feeling about you right now, I mean, there's definitely, there's some fixed energy now coming through here, okay? Fixed signs, we've got Leo. <laughs> I was saying this in the last reading, I sometimes get stuck. I know all the bloody signs in there, whether they're mutable, cardinal, and fixed, but it's like when I go to list them off, it's weird. I get a bit of a block, and I'm gonna say sometimes, but not anymore reframe my thoughts so fixed signs we've got leo scorpio aquarius um and taurus there we go <laughs> so it could be that they're one of those signs but to me i'm getting a lot of rigidity here okay like like they're not willing to make any kind of change here and it's strange because we're asking about their feelings but this is something that's coming through and i feel like maybe this is an, an apology and maybe they know that they need to apologize, but they're not willing to. Hmm. But in terms of their feelings, I get the sense as well that they see you, I don't know, like you're getting a lot of attention. Like they see you, whether you're out on dates with other people, or this is a lot of social media retention, or, you know, this could be that you're just not paying attention to them. Okay. And this is, you know, how they're feeling. But also, I feel like there's, there's still passion there. There is passion. I feel like there's a physical attraction there. Okay. I still feel like, that's very much still present within them okay so if that's something you were wondering i feel like it's still there but at the same time i feel like they're not letting themselves really feel on an emotional level because i mean we have cups here but it's reversed so you know this can be the feeling of thinking that it, like you were everything that they wanted or feeling that you were everything that they wanted but then it came crashing down you know this can be like wish fulfillment that came to an end but this can also be about lack of choices and it's strange because we've got this feeling of no choices but then this feeling of t attention attention so it may even be your person craves a lot of attention from other people this could be one of the reasons things have you know happened the way that they have but it may be that you know they need a lot of validation from other people because they're insecure for whatever reason that may be and this is you know without judging them for whatever they're going through but in terms of it feels like like they're not happy enough within themselves that they still, they need to have um, other people affirm that for them, okay? Hmm. But yeah, I definitely feel like this is a withholding of an apology or something, or withholding even of forgiveness here. And then when we look at their thoughts, it's like they're, they're tr I feel like, yeah, there's a sense of giving up. It's like they give, they want to give up. They're thinking that they need to give up and not put any more energy into this and again this is about them not wanting to apologize but again I feel like it's like there's the battle between what they know is right and their ego oh my god that makes so much sense now with that to be fair and then the ego energy coming through yeah it's like they know instinctively that they need to apologize that you are owed an apology but and they know that it's fair but it's like their ego is getting in the way their ego is not allowing them to yeah and it's like they want to give up, but at the same time with the death card reversed, I feel like there's a sense of unfinished business here. So I don't feel like they want this to be over. So again, this might be why timing is coming through. So it might be that they're waiting perhaps for the right timing to strike. I don't know. But it feels like as well that they, there are these issues that are reoccurring and it's like they're not being the ones to make any changes, okay? It's like maybe they feel like they don't need to make any changes. And that's why I said about the fixed energy because it's the fixed energy is the most immovable or stubborn. Doesn't mean that it can't change or evolve because it can, but it can be tricky, okay? And it, you know, all change starts from self-awareness, okay? We can't change or evolve until we are aware of ourselves and what we're doing, what we're thinking and how in which we can evolve in that way. So. It may be that they're not aware or they really don't feel like they have done anything wrong. They may even feel like, like you're the one that's done wrong. Maybe they feel like you that need to apologize to them could be, or maybe that you both need to apologize to each other and wipe the slate clean. Yeah, it's, it's a weird one. 
I'm just going to get a couple more cards on this and then we'll look at the fishbowl messages. Like, let's just look at their thoughts and feelings as a collective, please. What else can you tell us about their thoughts and feelings for you collectively? Their thoughts and feelings for you. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Fountain reversed and the Magician reversed. Yeah, so I feel like there is this breakthrough that they feel is needed. But again, it's like this stagnation, nothing's really changing because they're not able to be self-aware, okay? The magician could be like the trickster here, okay? Either trying to trick you or trying to trick themselves, okay? It's like, I don't know, there's some delusion coming through here on their part. But here we've got this like wanting to make an effort and work on things, which... Again, it's strange with this person because it's almost like, I don't know, the sense of needing to be in control, the sense of needing things to be fair, but not willing to do the work to get it there. But again, it's like maybe they want to work on this, but they're not really seeing what they really need to do. OK, but there's something manipulative coming through about this person. So, yeah, I would just be a little bit cautious um, only because I don't feel like they can really see what's wrong or what they can do wrong. Whereas I feel like you, group two, are able to look at yourselves objectively here and see like where you can evolve, where you can change. Whereas this person, I feel like, isn't that far evolved yet. And I feel like they're very much acting from an egoic place and this sense of needing to be in control, the sense of needing to win, but not really feeling like they need to make any changes or adaptations themselves here. So let's see. Let's look at their thoughts and feelings through the fishbowl messages. What else is coming through? But again, they are a bit of a closed book. Um, oh my God, avoid this energy. Yeah, I would definitely say to avoid this energy. Look, we've got jealous, avoid this energy. You have the wisdom. I need to get this off my chest. Move forward. Arms. Hold the line. Um, social. And fix and take control of what you can. Yeah, so again, that energy of control is coming through. And, you know, Scorpio can represent power and control. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they did have some Scorpio placements, maybe Scorpio on there descendants you know rule, ruling their seventh house of relationships perhaps or venus maybe in uh, scorpio but yeah i feel like that's something that sorry just had a parcel arrive so a little interruption there i don't know if that's also something between you like there was some kind of interruption i don't know that's probably a weird one <laughs> but in terms of the rest of their thoughts and feelings where were we okay I mean, we've got avoid this energy. We, you know, we've got some some seemingly negative things coming through here. You know, jealous. I don't know. Maybe if this person is quite possessive, um, or maybe they have the potential to be possessive. Okay, so you could also see this as divine protection. If this person isn't currently in your life right now, it may be that, or maybe that they would trigger your own jealousy. Okay, but something is a little bit toxic is coming through here. Okay, as a whole, with what I'm seeing, and. Yeah, in terms of their thoughts and feelings, I feel like maybe they do want to say something to you. I need to get this off my chest. So again, it's like they feel like they need to, they want to close up something with you or they want to continue something with you. OK, there's definitely something about going back and starting again. But again, it just feels like maybe they're not willing to be as open to um, acceptance or to change or forgiveness or um, to say sorry, to take responsibility. OK, and... I feel there's a couple of messages actually for you coming through here, group two, like you have the wisdom and move forwards. And I feel like this is letting you know that you do know, like deeper down that this person is this way. OK, and maybe that they're not somebody that's best for you or just again, right now, there's been a lot about timing here. So I definitely feel like this isn't the right time for the two of you or, you know, this is what your person is thinking, OK, that they feel this isn't the right time for the two of you right now. Maybe they feel like they need to move forwards, but I feel like that's a message for you to move forwards here. Okay, that's what I'm sensing. Um, because we also have hold the line and it's like, 
I don't know, maybe this person wants you to just wait for them. Like they just like, just wait until I'm ready. And it might be that you're fed up of being on hold and you shouldn't have to wait, okay? And yeah, it's like, I don't know, I feel like your person wants you to be at their beck and call. And whether you are or you're not, I feel like they're quite happy with that. And that may be something as well that they're unwilling to change. They're unwilling to change, you know, those circumstances or to be a cooperative with you in that way, to uh, compromise. I feel like they're unwilling to compromise, but at the same time, they haven't let you go, okay? But obviously up to you what you decide, you know, is the best move for you moving forwards. But I also, you know, draw attention to arms. I honestly don't know what that means. I mean, maybe that they have really nice arms. Maybe you do. Maybe that's something you're drawn together. But there's also like Gemini energy coming through with the arms and the hands that I was seeing earlier. So it may also be like they want to like envelop you, like they want you in their arms. But I feel like, again, it's very much about the timing for them. Like, and that may be what timing is about, like when the time is right for them. And again, about being unwilling to compromise, you know, when time is good for you. Okay. So I do hope that this reading resonated with you, group two, and thank you so much for being here. I so much appreciate you and love you very much. Please feel free to let me know if this did resonate with you. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link is down below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Take good care, group two. Okay, so for those of you who chose group number three and the clear courts, let's take a look at your person's thoughts and feelings about you. So we'll look at your oracle cards first, then the tarot, and of course the fishbowl messages. So the first card we have, Our Lady of Guadalupe, the Empress of Protection. I am safe and divinely protected. I am held in love at all times. Okay, then we have By the Book, and the number 11, and deep knowing, and the number 43. 43 reduces to seven. So the fact that we've got seven and 11, very, very spiritual numbers here. We've got the master number 11 and the spiritual number seven. So I definitely feel like there is a spiritual connection your person feels with you. Definitely. Now, whether this is something that's conscious or unconscious with them, they have this deep knowing, okay, this deep feeling that they need to be closer to you in some way. Perhaps that they want to build something with you with by the book, okay? This is a very traditional energy. It's giving me Capricorn vibes, okay? Maybe even Taurus. But I'm just seeing like this need to, you know, grow something or also to do things in the right way and in what they feel is the right way or the conventional way. So maybe that they're wanting to take very uh, small baby steps towards you or that they are wanting some kind of traditional family, okay? Family seems to be really important to your person, okay? Now, whether this is the family that, you know, they're in currently, they grew up in, or this is what they're wanting for their future, I feel like they definitely either want children or they have children, okay? I feel like they want to build build something foundational, okay? Wow. But again, this might be, you know, if you're in the very beginning stages of dating, this could be, you know, I want to take you out on a first date, we'll, you know, kiss at the end of the first date or kiss it on the third date or, you know, wanting to date and then become, you know, in a relationship and then engaged, marriage, children, you know, that's what we would say the conventional type of relationship is. And I do feel like that's something that they are seeking out here, okay? But... There's something about them protecting themselves here. So it may even be that they're a little afraid, afraid of like being vulnerable with you or something. Now, maybe that's, they're someone that is very practical. Maybe they're great in taking those practical steps um, to build something with you, but they're afraid to be vulnerable and open with their emotions. Or if they haven't really approached you in this way yet, or you don't feel like they're making that solid effort to build something with you. And now it may be that they actually have a deep rooted fear of commitment. But at the same time, it's like they want the commitment, but they're afraid. They're afraid of getting into something that could potentially hurt them or could potentially end. Okay. Yeah. But I feel like your person is definitely someone that is really intuitive. Okay, naturally so. And again, whether they 
are consciously aware of it or not. I just feel like they have that internal knowing, that gut feeling that drives them, okay? And I do feel like there's something that they're feeling that um, about you. Now, for some of you, this may even be that they're feeling you are very uh, protected, okay? It might be that they're wanting, you know, this stable, happy family situation with you, but they see you as being very guarded and unwilling to let down your barriers. So, what I'm actually just going to do, I'm, I haven't done this for the other piles, but I feel drawn to do this for you, group three. Um, I'm going to look at how they actually view you. How do they view you right now? And then I'll look more deeply into their thoughts and feelings, okay? So how is your person viewing you right now, group three? How is your person viewing you right now? Okay, so we've got the queen of wands reversed. How are they viewing you? The five of coins. Okay, oh my god. Okay, the tower yeah so that could resonate in terms of being protected because i mean the queen of wands is you know not giving really any energy to this maybe this is like not like they see you as not really making an effort with them or maybe you're not attracted to them or that you are afraid afraid of a tower moment approaching okay because maybe this is somebody that you've known from the past maybe there was some volatility in a past relationship or something very unexpected okay or this could be this deep knowing that this is something that you've experienced in other relationships or even your childhood okay because i see so much pain there's pain and rejection and loss coming through here so yeah whether you may have hidden this from this person but I feel like they, they intuitively figure, have sniffed it out, almost. Sorry to burst the bubble though. <laughs> if you feel like, oh, I thought I did a really good job of keeping that contained, and you have, absolutely. And there's only so much you can do. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, it's part of you, it's part of the journey, it's part of your involvement of, you know, the experiences you've been through that's helped to mold and grow you as the person you are now. And, you know, I feel like they value that because they see you as someone that's been through some struggle, okay? Because this could be financial or um, or health as well, okay, with the pentacles here. Um, or just this feeling of, yeah, being alone. This could be also about being a single parent as well, maybe doing something on your own for quite some time. And almost this sense of, I feel like they see you as somebody that's been so independent that maybe you've not given anyone the opportunity to help you or support you okay and it's like you feel like you've had to do everything by yourself or that you've taken it in your stride and done it anyway so yeah it's like they see i feel like they see the potential in you and i feel like there's an incredible uh, attraction very very strong fiery attraction but i also feel like they may even be a little intimidated by you okay because there's so much power coming through in this tower card um, but they may also see you as a little bit unpredictable, okay? They may see you as like, they're not sure like either which side of you they're going to get or maybe that you just pop up out of nowhere or that, yeah, there's something that seems, yeah, unpredictable or unexpected about you, okay? But that may be also what intrigues them, okay? So let's take a look at their feelings now. What are their current feelings towards you? Just the feelings, then we'll look at thoughts, okay? What are their current feelings for you okay wow so we have the six of cups so again we've got more children coming through here so yeah i feel like there's definitely something to do with children either yours theirs or thinking about having children okay and yeah page there's so many children energies coming through here and then the ace of coins okay in terms of their feelings i see them missing you okay or i see there's a an emotional longing for you and it's nice to see because we've got cup card here which is in the upright position is a lovely energy to see in terms of feelings okay so i do feel like you know their heart is open in that way but they are still a little bit guarded themselves okay so yeah it might be that you're also mirroring each other because maybe the way that you see them is maybe the way that you um the, the way that they see you is maybe the way that you see them, could be. But I definitely feel like they, they are still a little bit guarded. They're, they're emotionally like connected and missing you. But I feel like this is almost the stalking energy, like they're keeping an eye on you. I mean, look at him. He's literally hiding behind this sword. But he's not doing a very good job because the sword is actually transparent and it's not really covering anything. <laughs> so you might even be like yeah I know I've seen them looking at me and they think that I don't notice but I do okay that's the feeling I get or maybe this is someone that watches all your stories but it's like they they almost see themselves as being invisible when they're watching them like maybe they maybe they do feel invisible maybe you have lots of people that um, are after your attention or something and they feel like they're a drop in the ocean I don't know 
But yeah, I definitely feel like they're keeping a close eye on you. And the Ace of Coins, yeah, this is about growth, wanting to start something here, wanting to offer something. So yeah, I do get the sense that they're feeling they want to offer you something. And wow, I just heard something about impregnating as well. Like what the hell is going on here? They may, they may really want to have your baby or want you to carry their baby or they want to carry your baby. Okay, either way, <laughs> it's crazy. So maybe it's like they, they love your genes or something like, yep, yeah, you're the one I want my children to have. They, I want my children to have your DNA. <laughs> that's definitely something that's coming through here. It's crazy. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's their feelings. Let's look at their thoughts. Let's look at their thoughts. And sorry for the background noise. It's my bunny dust who is chewing his cardboard box. Honestly, feel like it's that their way of feeling like they're joining in. <laughs> okay. So... What are their thoughts for you, group three? What are their thoughts for you? Okay, so we've got the Empress reversed, the Two of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, okay. So I really do feel like, yeah, I don't know if there's been a blocking, okay, whether you blocked them, they blocked you, or, you know, this might be that you didn't see each other for a while or something, or there was no communication. I feel like they want that to be over, and I feel like they want the confusion to be over. But look, we also have the Empress in reverse. And again, she is like the divine mother of the tarot. So the fact that she's come through again, more children energy, it's crazy. It's really crazy. But the fact that she's reversed, I get the sense that, yeah, maybe they think that you're not wanting the same things. Okay, maybe that you're not wanting children or that you're not wanting more or that you're not wanting to grow this in some way. It's like they see you as, yeah, again, being kind of closed off. But it's weird because it's like they see you as somebody that would be the parent or somebody that they want to be nurturing. But it's like they think that you're not in that place, okay, or that you'd not give that to them in some way. But here, I feel like Page of Cups, they do want to offer you something, okay? I feel like there's there's a lot of coming through about offerings, communication, messages. So I feel like they're going to reach out to you. If they haven't already, I feel like they're going to be coming through, okay? They definitely want to. They've been thinking about it. They're feeling that it's the right thing to do. And they have that deep knowing that it's what they want to do, okay? So you're definitely going to hear from them soon. But if you're already in communication with them, then I feel like they're, they're again, going to want to start off really slowly. Um, and it seems quite healthy in that respect. So... Let's just see what else is coming through here about their thoughts and feelings. Um, okay, we have luck is coming. We've got you are healing. Um, unconventional. Uh, 30 days. By the book. Oh my God. Right, <laughs> hold on. Power. Manifesting Generator, Fire Brigade, that one's come out already today, I love to make you smile, and Loyal and Honourable, wow, I really just love this person for you though, Group 3, I really feel like this person has a heart of gold, I really do, and I feel like they really want something special with you, okay, but yeah, it's weird because we've got unconventional, but I feel like this is what they think about you, okay, I feel like they think you're more on the unconventional side, that again, maybe you wouldn't want that sort of 1.2 kids, you know, or two point, whatever you call it, you know, um, I'm definitely not that traditional, um, person either. So I get, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? So just like the unconventional side, they think that you're maybe not, um, of that vibration. I don't know, but maybe they're just not giving you the opportunity. They're not, they haven't spoken to you about this. They haven't given you the chance to really, um, speak your mind, but look, we've got by the book, and we've got by the books, we've got that twice here. So I definitely feel like this is more their energy, okay? That they are more of the conventional, like to do things by the book in that traditional way. So we've got doubly, doubly by the book here. Um, but we, you know, we've got loyal and honorable and I love to make you smile. Like how sweet is that? Like they do, they love to make you smile and they have these loyal and honorable intentions. They really, really do. Yeah, this is not somebody who's a player or somebody that, you know, would want to mess you around. I feel like this person would really want to, you know, be supportive of you, to take care of you in a way, and not that you need anybody to take care of you because you are so powerful. You're so strong and independent, but it's like they want to be there to support you, okay? And I feel like they actually see you as somebody that could be very healing for them. And I feel like they're going to reach out within 30 days. I really do, okay? Now, I don't know what else 30 days would mean for you here, but that's the first thing that came to me, 
okay? Um, or they're gonna voice more of their opinions, okay? If you're already in sort of constant contact, um, then it might be that they're gonna be, uh, make their intentions more known to you within 30 days. Now, it could also be that they are a manifesting generator in the human design. It could be that you are a manifesting generator. Now, it could also be that one of you is a generator, one of them, one of you is a manifester. That could be what's coming through. So yeah, if you're not sure, you can always check your human design charts online, really simple. But yeah, that would be an interesting mix, really. So that'd be interesting to know. But also, yeah, love is come. Why did I say that love is coming? I haven't even written that. That's not even on one of the cards. Right? Um, in any of the fishbowl messages, maybe that's a sign I should write that one down. Let me know if I should. Love is coming. Um, but luck is coming. So yeah, maybe that they, I don't know, they see you, either they see you as being really lucky or they, oh, actually, oh, it's so sweet. Like they feel like they're lucky to be a part of your life. Like they're, they're lucky to have a chance with you. Like that's what I see here. Like they, this person admires you. I mean, like they have you on this pedestal. They really do. But I don't feel like it's in, un, in an unhealthy way. I feel like they actually see the realness of you. They see the attributes that they like. This isn't like a fantasy for them, I feel. This isn't like they're just imagining you to be this perfect person for them. I don't feel like they're, you know, in a place of fantasy or delusion by it. I feel like they, they actually see your soul. Like they, again, they have this deep knowing that you're someone for them. You're someone that they would want to build a life with. This isn't about superficiality, it's about the way that you look um, or anything along those lines, you know, about money. I feel like this is, a, this is about soul. This is a soul to soul connection. They feel this and they just want to be in your energy. Okay. So love this for you. I hope that this resonates with you. Please feel free to let me know in the comments below if it did and give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today. And just know how much I love and care for you all. And I appreciate you all for being here with me today. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link is down below. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Take good care.